is this? Bibi. Eh? What is it? It's a nightmare. What kind of nightmare? Eh? Um, don't worry, I'm fine. Please, yes, let me go. Don't shout there. Please leave, it's just nightmare. Huh? Anyway, how was it then? Very stressful. Okay, I did. Right, I hope there is food in this house. Yeah, there is enough food in the house. Hmm? But there is one thing you will do for me now. Mm -hmm. You have to take your bath first. Mm -hmm. Then after that, we we'll look for something for you to eat. I need to eat before I take my bath. Otherwise, I will faint. Hey. I'm very hungry. Yes. Well, in that case, I will tell Sandra to prepare something for you. I decided to come. Since you have forgotten your mother in the village, you want me to die of hunger. You used to send money to me. After you got married, nothing was over. That is why I said, let me come and see you myself. Mama, you know it's barely two months we got married. So, so you don't expect us to start sending money like that now. You are trying to gather the money that we spent already. It's not that we mm. forgot about you. Mm. You see, that is what I am saying. Only God knows what she has given you to eat. Eh? She has just taken you to her side and to her own people's side. You are forgotten me. Mama, this young lady you are talking about, she is a nice person. If you need a baby, Maria, if you understand that, if you know, don't worry for me. We could let me talk to her and let her do for something for you to eat. Baby! Uh, uh, hey, Mama! You're welcome. Uh -huh, thank you. So how is the people in the village? They are there running her because of hunger. <laughs> hunger. <laughs> I go. I go. Uh -huh. uh, I, I came because both of you don't even remember uh -huh. that I exist. That I need to eat food. You all just abandoned me at home. So I decided to come to my son's house. Or am I not welcome here? No, Mama. You're always welcome. Mama, see, this is your son's house. You have every right to come here anytime, any day. Hmm? Yes, Mama. You're always welcome here. By the way, how is Mamugo? <laughs> they are all there in the village, cracking uh, canyons like squirrels. 
Maybe you have to go and prepare something for mama. Okay, yeah. Let me let me let me quickly run out something for her to eat, okay? Mama, I'll be back soon. Okay. <laughs> hey mama, let's be realistic here. Yeah. Is it true that these people are cracking us? Like you think I am joking? Everybody is hungry. Go to the village now and see what is happening. Hey, Opoapo. This is a dress, yeah. Let her look for something for you to eat. Mm -hmm. To please look up at tobacco. Mm -hmm. Ken, you knew Mama was coming and you did not then it right to inform me. I never knew. In fact, she never mentioned it to me. So, the way we just saw it, that, that's just the way it is. She just packed all her things and started coming without informing anybody. Well, the way I'm looking at it, I don't think Mama is going anytime soon. Because she she came with almost all her belongings. Mm, there is nothing that we can do about it. She's my mother. And as far as I'm concerned, she has the right to stay as long as she wants. I am not against her coming or staying long. But at least she would have informed us. You're married now. Not that you still live alone. I'm not in for this. Mama's problem is not my issue now. I have another thing that is bothering me. Let me just think. We could happen. Really? So what is it that is in your head? Share with me. <laughs> Share with me. It's that I don't know. Oh, you know I don't like you. <laughs> you started the game. Just let me understand Whoa. now. <laughs> don't worry, I will tell you everything. Are you sure? I will tell you. Okay. As for Mama issue, don't allow that to bother you. She of will go anytime she feels like. Already. Which house? This one? Look at. Look at sand all over. This sand will be enough to build one room. Eh? Mama, I'm sorry if it's not okay. I will just go ahead and sweep it again. Hey, what is wrong with you children of nowadays? You can't do simple things. Bend down, bend your waist. Eh? Bend your waist very well. Just relax. Why? Uh, I know, but I'll be supervising you so that I will know exactly how you are sweeping it. Benja, Benja, bend your waist! Discussing. When I'll be back, I'll be with you in a minute, okay? Okay. Mama? Hello, oh, my son. How is everything? I hope you're getting enough rest. Oh, my son. I'm really getting enough rest. Or like that village where there are so many enemies. 
They will not allow someone to rest, eh? <laughs> Enemies in the village. Bro. Yes. <laughs> Mama, you're funny. You've lived almost all your life in the village. How come the enemies are now pursuing you up and down? Yes. You will not understand, son. What made me run away from the village to come to your house here? Eh? Hey. Eh? Yeah. I found you. If I let me go and freshen up, I'll be with you in a minute. It's okay, it's okay, my son. Hey! Welcome, man. Eh? Oh. This is like this. You're not happy. What is the problem? Hey, I don't like the way Mama is talking to me in this house. I am in my house for crying out loud. And I also need privacy. What happened? When I was coming in, I saw her with broom sweeping the house I already swept. I told her I had already swept the house. She got angry and started insulting me. Sorry, you know one thing with Mama? Ever since Father died, everything about her changed. But honey, this is our own house. I mean, I can't just be living like a slave in my own house. This is just two months we wedded. We need bonding time with each other. Wait, let me just understand you. Is it that she talked to you in an unfriendly manner? Or that we need bonding time. Which one? Let me Both. understand. Both. My dear, if you're expecting me to send my mother out of this house, it's not going to happen. Just put that in your mind. Okay. Is that all you can say? You don't expect me to, to, to send my mother out from my own house now. It's unfair. Please. The whole salt in the house into this food. Salt? Mama, there is not much salt in this food. Oh, 
But mama, mama, see, I ate this food. There is no more salt in it now. Hey. Okay. At this my age, I don't know when there is more salt in food and when there is no more salt. Ah, this girl, she wants to kill me with salt in this house. Mama, 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 please, don't go there. Huh. You know what? She will fix something else for you to eat. Please, if you, are, if you, if you can't take this thing, you just... See what it cost now. Like I said before, I'll go and talk to her so that she will look for another thing for you to eat. Please, if you can't eat this one, just pack it outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? You are following her into the bedroom? Just did this wrong. You don't supposed to have just left like that. You see what I was telling you about, Mama. I mean, what was wrong with the food I served her? Isn't it the same food that both of us ate? Listen, I don't understand what is wrong with Mama this time around. But there is something I would like you to understand. She is getting old. But please don't allow that to get to you. Look for something else for her to eat. Look, darling, I am sick and tired of this thing, this whole drama that is going on in this house. I am tired. Moreover, it's late. I can't even cook anything this night again. Listen, you, you better talk to her. You don't please need to talk be to her. Angry. You don't need to be getting angry. Relax. Look for something to fix for her. Let me go and talk to her. All these things is getting me. I don't even know. Huh. Mother-in-law, mother-in-law. God. Mama. Um, I just want to tell you one thing. Hmm? What you just said to Sandra now is unfair. Even though there was too much salt in the food, at least you're supposed to correct her in a motherly manner. It just blew, blew up everything. It's unfair. Really? That is not food. That is poison. Mama, it's my wife that you're talking about. Oh. You are daughter-in-law. She can't give you poison and you know that. I know you take sides with her. Yes, Yoko. I know you will take sides with her. Oh, you have decided to abandon your own mother and take sides with your own wife. No problem. Continue. Don't worry. By tomorrow, I will get prepared and leave your house back to the village. Uh -uh. Since you don't want me to stay here anymore. Mama, no one is asking you to leave the house. All I'm telling you is that what you just said to Sandra now is unfair. She put all her effort in cooking that food just for you to eat something this night. Mr. Effort. Ah! Effort! Ah! I have heard you. No, she would have come to take my own effort to put. Or your own effort to put. Tomorrow! I will leave back to the village. Mama, you're not so going that you can enjoy you're your house. Going I anywhere. am disturbing you. You are not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. You need to make peace with her. Like I said before. I've told her to cook something else for you to eat this night. But just know that what you did was wrong. Mm -hmm. Pico. Mm -hmm. Ah, she's even angry in there. Who? With who? With me? <laughs> she's angry. <laughs> Of it. What is she doing here in the city? I don't know, my sister. I don't know. 
Hey, you should have allowed you guys to enjoy your marriage. Eh? Just marriage of two months shall have packed in with you guys already. My dear, you're trying. God knows if I'm in your shoes, eh? <laughs> I will not take that too. Mm. My sister, I am so confused. I feel like running out of my house. <laughs> well, what is your husband saying about it? That one. He tried to talk to her. But you know mother and son issue. They know how to get their way. <sighs> I can't imagine. Hmm? Mother-in-law's issue a very delicate matter. Hmm. Well, especially when the person involved is her only child. Exactly. Exactly. My dear, I don't know what to do anymore. I am tired. Anyway, how is your husband? He's fine, my dear. He just left this morning. Really? Yeah. Till the next three months, I guess. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I feel so lonely in the house. Mm. I'm tired of staying in that house. I feel so lonely looking at the ceiling and all that. I can imagine. But this is your work, eh? It's not easy. It's not at all. <laughs> Doing is not fair. Mama, that will not be a problem. Hmm? So, I think I have something. Take this thing. Use it and buy whatever you want. I will see it to be okay. This one is not much. But I will manage it. That one, no thank you. Please do. I will see you when I come back. Okay. Thank you. Keep it one with chug on where I want. Is it me that you are hissing at? Foolish fool. Sandra. I have seen the way my son gives you money in this house. That is why you are feeling so comfortable in the house you don't want to do anything. Other women like you go outside there to go and look for jobs to help their husbands. All you sit there at home and do is to eat his hard-earned money. The money he labored for, seriously. Are you not ashamed of being a housewife? Eh? Mama, is that why you stopped me? Because I am very busy. Inside. Eh? You are not even ashamed of being a housewife, eh? Mama, is that why you stopped me? Because I'm busy inside. Go inside and be busy. Continue to be busy. You will eat in the morning, afternoon and night. That is what you want. Mama, may I remind you that this is my house? This your insult is becoming too much. You can't continue to talk to me the way you like. Will you shut up your mouth? Are you challenging me in my son's house? Hmm. Eh? It may be your son's house. But it's my husband's house. It's my house too. Whosoever belongs to my husband belongs to me. You can't come and be a thorn in my flesh for no reason. Probably. My son will surely hear about this. He will surely hear about it. Can you just imagine? An able-bodied, vibrant girl. 
She doesn't want to do anything. She wants to be a complete housewife. Staying indoor day and night. Day in, day out. Not what I am. It will never happen. of hand in this house. Eh? I can no longer sit comfortably in my own house. All I hear all the time is, my son, my son, my son. Every time. I am tired of living in this house. Are you serious? Sister. Hey. But where is she safe? I don't know. She should be in her room. I don't even care anymore. Hmm. What well, come to think of it? Do you know the reason why you're Mother-in-law behaves the way she does. It's because she sees you at home every day. Eh? What about the company you submitted your CV to? My dear, they say they are going to call me this month. I can't wait for their call because I feel like running far, far, far away from this house. Serious. <laughs> running away from your own house? Yes. You can't be serious, my friend. I am. I know. It's because you are not in my shoe, that's why you're laughing. My dear, I thank God I can never have your kind of mother-in-law. Because if I do, I don't think I have the kind of patience you have. Okay. I am tired. Look at me. I can't even think straight anymore. Eh? My husband will soon come back from work and I don't even know what to cook for him. <sighs> Seriously. My dear, calm down. You can go to your food menu, pick something and cook for him, you know? Mm, of course. I think I will do. My dear, mother-in-law issue here. Please I'm just tired. Come back. You have to take it easy. Mm, don't be too hard on yourself, okay? understand about your wife she doesn't want to do anything all she wants to become is a complete housewife i thought you said she's a graduate why is she not going out there to look for a job eh? mama sandra that you're looking at is not a lazy kind you know she just relocated from Enugu to lagos and she can't continue with her former job i know i did not say she should go back to Enugu. all i'm saying is that she should try and look for something to do instead of sitting at home as a complete housewife um, Mama, what I would like you to understand now is that she has gone for different interviews. She has submitted her CV and she's only waiting for that call. You understand? So mm. she's not... Just forget about that. Mm? Mm. Mm. It's okay. So how was work today? Ah, not that bad. Yeah, you can go in now, freshen up, eh? Thank you. And by the way, where is my wife? I don't know where she has gone to, but I have prepared your food. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mama. You're welcome. I'll see you. Eh? Okay, dear. I just came back from work and I need to go to the market to buy food stuff and cook for my husband. Wow, that's interesting. I'm also going to the market, so we'll go together then. Really? Was that why you called me? Mm -hmm. Ah, you're very funny. <laughs> ah, what do you want to buy that you call me? Baby, I wonder my husband will be coming back tomorrow. I also want to go to the market to get, you know, food stuff and cook his favorite food. So he's coming back tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> You never mentioned that to my hearing. I'm just hearing it for the first time. Mm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, don't be angry. It's okay. But I'm telling you now. Okay, I what and what do you want to buy? My dear, I want to buy.
try things to cook his favorite food. Really? Mm. You want to make his favorite before he returns back? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that shows a good woman. Hmm. So after cooking his favorite, and when he finishes eating, <coughs> hmm. <Do you> know? <laughs> It has been long now. Really? But you know, be fire. I wood. can see. Mm, you know, so I don't miss the touchy. You know, bag of God. Somebody, let's start going. I can't wait to. I can't wait. <laughs> Nightmare I've been having those days. It's scary. Nightmare what? What about? About Mama. Hey, what about Mama? My dear, I don't know how to explain it though. I have been seeing Mama lately in my dream trying to kill me. What? That's absurd. Yes, my dear, it's just a dream. Okay? Soon. Nothing will happen to you. Amen. Anyway, how is your husband? Ken. Ken has been the shadow of himself lately. He now gets drunk here and then. <laughs> Things are getting from bad to worse too. Sister, I don't know what to do. Ken is gradually fading away. Seriously, I don't know what to do. You need to do something about it before your husband turns into a drunk. Hmm. My dear, he's your husband. You better have. You need to protect him with all you've got. Hmm? Remember, he's going through emotional trauma currently. But, but wait, okay. What if the dream? Is a reality. Please forget about that. What if Mama is really trying to kill me? You know this mother-in-law. You never can trust anyone, you know. Nera <laughs> Pakoko, eh? I told you it's just a dream. Eh? Just forget about it. I hope so. He never can tell. You know all these old women in the village. Who knows the one they have done in here at the back? My dear, she can't do such, okay? I pray so, because I don't want to die young. Nobody's killing you. <laughs> Here. Why not go to your room? Do it in your room. Meaning, Mama, what if we have a visitor now and he or she sees you like this? What do you think people will say? Mama, I, I think you have overstayed. 
you have to go back to the village. Says who? Says me. You need to go. Ah! Who gave you that mouth to talk to me like that? Huh? You slapped me. I will slap you a hundred times. Who are you? You have the effort to talk to me in my own son's house. Look at this rat that my son brought into this house the other day. You have the effrontery to confront me in this manner. I have not started with you. Donkey. Fool. In my own son's house, you want to come and challenge me. told me that you insulted her in this house. Me? Yes. Insulted her? Hmm. There is nothing I will not see with this my eyes. I came out and I saw her drinking beer in the sitting room. I, I told her that mama, she should not drink beer in the sitting room. And she slapped me. What? She slapped you? You heard me. In this house? Wait for me, I'm coming. What is the meaning of Because of mother-in-law, I will not have peace in my marriage. Yeah? I will not enjoy just very many months I got married. Hmm. 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 Mama, mm -hmm. what is the meaning of all these things? Has it got to the extent of you beating my own wife in my own house? Why? I know she has bewitched you. That is why you have the effrontery to come and to, to come and talk to me like this. Eh? Ken, what is wrong with you? Eh? See, Mama, I think we have overstayed. We need to go back to the village. Simple. I know you have been bewitched. You have been bewitched to the extent of you asking your old mother, a widow, to leave your own house. Oh, God. Hey! Mama, see, it's not all about this you are crying. Tomorrow morning, we have to leave this house. We have to go back to the village. At least you, you have overstayed your welcome, sir. Hey, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm packing my things back to my husband's house. Yeah, exactly. So why they're wrong? You have to go because I don't know the reason why you, you keep beating this. this. Ah, Sandra. So this is what you have cost. Sandra, this is what you have cost. No problem. <laughs> I am leaving you. Baby, I talked to Mama. She is leaving this house first thing tomorrow morning. Hmm. Biko. Are you sure? Yes. If she doesn't leave this house, I will leave. So you can marry your mother. Please, let's go inside. I am hmm? not going. Biko, no, 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 I want to leave. Please. No. I'm begging you. I want to go. I want to go. Let's go inside. I want to go. Bring another one bottle for me. Let me continue from where I start. Ken, another bottle. You are getting drunk. Allow me to drink because this thing is the only thing that gives me happiness. Now, as I'm talking to you. 
Okay, I don't understand you. For the past days now, you've not been yourself. I mean, this guy, you're almost drinking yourself to stupor. Do you want to kill yourself? See, the problem now is that two of you cannot understand what is going on in my head. Let me us understand. That is why we are your friends. Simple. Let me tell you. Ever since my mother packed her bag from the village, came to stay with us here in Lagos, my house has been on fire. Do you know that my wife is even planning to leave my house? Yeah. I don't know why these two people cannot coexist in under the same roof. Every day I keep on separating fights from here to this place. In fact, it's beginning to get to me. I understand that my wife as a person need her privacy, but my mother, she don't want to let go. I don't know why these two people cannot work together, women to women. All they do every day is fighting. I keep on separating cat and cat and rat fighting. But care. How and why did your mother decide to leave the village to come to the city? Is there no house in the village? We have a very big house in the village. I see. Ever since my father died, I understand that my mother is, is feeling lonely. So she decided to come and stay with us. I'm not against that though. But my problem now is that these two people, they keep fighting in my house. Do you know the, the major problem now is that my wife asked me to choose between my mother or her. That is just the worst of it all as I'm talking to you people now. No, 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 Ken, your mom should understand. Listen, you're a married man for kind and love, and you need your privacy. No, no, of the truth, I am not against your mom coming to your house. No! But the good thing is, if your mother comes, stay for a few days, she, she, she can go back. Okay, now you need your privacy. You want to do some kind of things with your wife as a married man that you want. You just say, no, come to Somehow yeah. now. The other day, I was about to fix something. The next thing I heard was, pop, pop, pop. Now you know, check all that. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> now you understand why I need extra one more time. What with father? Uh, she, she also said that you are newly married. I don't think that you may have something now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kenneth, listen, okay. Your, your mom should understand that you are a married man now. Mm -hmm. Alright, you are no longer, you are not a baby for crying out loud. You are not a baby. You are a married man. Do you get? I mean, she shouldn't interrupt your privacy now. Yes. You need some time to hear something from your wife, you know? <laughs> Yeah. As far as my mother is concerned, I can suck the both of them because it's my mother now. You suck your brother's dress. Eh? You suck your wife's dress. As as a man, you need to suck for both sides. No, you don't need to suck for your mother again. If yeah. you have something, you're sucking. Yeah. Why? Your, you mo like your mother won't have flat down, you know. You're going to go. What's it going to go? What's it going to go? Your own mother won't have your mom's own has fallen. Your own mother's own has fallen too. That is a lie. <laughs> See, let me tell you, if you want to suck from your mom, your mom now, her type is that what they used to. If you want to use it, use it to kill mosquito. If you lift it like this, you flog it. Why? It's good you're laughing, man. Drink doesn't hurt. Yes, now. Yes, now. Oh, baby, I'm not feeling, man. Your kidney, the two of them are paining me. Hey. See, Mama, 
We have to go to the hospital, please. No, 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 no. Don't take me to the hospital. If you take me to the hospital, I will die. If you go to the hospital, you die. Mm. How? Uh, uh, uh. It is native medicine. Native medicine that I drink. That's what I treat myself with. Oh, uh. native medicine. Mm. Honey, I know exactly where I can get native medicine for her. Hmm? Yes. Original one. Yes. Let's go and buy it for mama. Hey, mama, <laughs> we are coming. <laughs> 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 You push come and send me to the village, let me see now. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think so. Mama might not want to go back to the village. But as for that one that I saw there, she's very, very sick. Sick? Yeah. Hmm. She is not sick. Okay, if she is not pretending, why then did she refuse to go to the hospital? Or doesn't she want to get well? See, the most important thing now is for us to get her the native medicine. Oh. Let's forget about all these arguments. Eh, no problem. Native medicine, right? I will get it for her. I know exactly where I can get original one for her. Good. Do you know what? Maybe we can just go together. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Hey, Mama. Mm. This is the native medicine you asked us mm. to bring for you. Hey, Mama. Mm. You see, it's very, very original. Just drink. The, the native man said she should just take half a glass. Mm. Go on, mm. please, you'll be fine. Mama, drink now. Mm. Go on, go on. Go on. Oh. Do know. She said that if you take her to the hospital, that she will die. Instead, she requested for native medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you don't you don't blame the, you don't blame the woman. You know, back in the east where they are, they believe in root and heart. So at a time like this, they treat them. That's what they use in treating themselves. How was work yesterday? You know, the external auditors, they came and everybody was just on their toes, everybody. But the luck you had was I signed in for you. Hey, if brother. not... My brother, had it been you didn't sign anything? <laughs> <laughs> what a person, no worry. No, but that is a mark to another body. Of course, yes, now. You need to, uh, without being told. Uh, waiter! Waiter! Yes, sir. 
Oh boy, you need to just thank your God. No, after thanking God, you thank me now. God, God, pass everybody to thank God for your life. <laughs> for my life, no, I'm thanking God for your life. Because I didn't that this side for by now. No, I'll call for I'll call you when I go after. I just received that people collect something out for you. November after this one, I'll still give you another strategy. Don't try me, you won't keep saying we follow them together. No, Allah. Can say about it. He comforted her and asked her to pack her things and leave the next morning. She accepted. Oh, not until when we woke up in the morning. That woman, eh, she's very funny. She suddenly fell sick and refused to go to the office. This is funny. You. Very funny. She said eh, she need um, native medicine. <laughs> hey, native medicine, what? Eh? In this town? Trust me now. You don't know me again. I went and bought original one for her. Babe, if you test that medicine, hmm, it's very bitter. And you know what? I am giving it to her morning, afternoon and night. Let me see how long her, her sickness will last. I trust you. Me, Sandra, <laughs> baby. My dear, hmm. you know what? If she finished that one, eh? Try and get another one for her. Oh, yeah, he's one you. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, I am going to get her one full gallon. Hmm? Let her drink and purge away the sickness. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere she hears the name Sandra, eh? You're not saying it. I'm telling you. <laughs> So you, you remember that telecommunication company I submitted application to? Yes. They sent me an appointment later to resume work. Wow, that's a good news. This calls for celebration. Yes. You know what? What? Go and get ready. I am taking you out tonight. Wow. And the bill is on me. You? Yes. Guess what I want to eat? What? One big elephant. Really? Yeah. Are you sure you can't finish one big elephant? Sure. Okay, don't worry. You know what I'll add to it? I will add the lion to it. Baby lion. Baby lion. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I'll go and finish it. I'll go out. Yes, yeah. so, yes, so, yes, yes. So. Am, am I not good to go out like this? Yeah, Is it me strolling now? Wow. Yeah? <laughs> don't worry. Let me go and prepare. Let's go together. Eh. Okay, okay. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wait to resume. <laughs> hey, it's good news. Though. So when are you resuming? On Monday. Wow. On Monday? Yes. So soon. <laughs> My dear, you are so lucky. Please, God, uh, please help me thank this Baba God. Mm? <laughs> uh, hey. Hey. Dear, what about your mother-in-law? Eh, she's fine. She went to see her friend. 
My sister, I can't wait to tell her that I'm off to work. At least to increase my absence in the house. Telling you, I can't even wait to see her face. Mm. You know, to see that reactions on her face <laughs> when she gets the news that you're now working. You can say that again, my friend. <laughs> Hey. Okay, okay. Anyway, what would you like to eat? Just give me anything you have. Food, you know now. But please, let it not be that pepper food you gave me that day. Ah, that food was so pepperish. Hey, hey. That pepper food you gave me that day. But you finished everything. You uh -uh. almost licked the plate. Ah, uh ah, -uh. I'll get you. Cool. When did I lick the plate? Hmm? Hmm. Anyway, the food was sweet, Sha, but just that the pepper was too much. Hi! Ne, you know, you go say, you know, me, I don't like pepper. I don't like too much pepper. They should stop me from taking this native medicine, but they refuse. They insist that I must finish it eh? and have been purging day in, day out. If you keep drinking that native medicine, you, 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 you will die. Or do you want to die? Deceive as if this old daughter in law is so wicked and heartless. Eh? She has finished me. If I should spend one more day in this house, I might push to eternity. Ha! See, all my joints are taking me. Let me ask you, do you want to die before you go to your house? Is it not better for you to go home healthy than you stay here and I, 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 you develop sickness? Hey! Hey! If I come again, I need to rush down to the toilet. I need to... Hey! Where are you from? Take it easy. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yeah. Hey. So don't tell you she she's she so heartless. Ah, Obi Polony Anko, Oya Abu Oya Obi Abu. Hey, man, is it my first to stay in in Tanchi? It's not better for her to go home before something happens to you. Tanchi goes for my first. Yeah. My dear, there is something that is bothering me. What is it, honey? Mama called me the other day and was complaining that the medicine, that native medicine, that is beginning to poach her. And, and the way she was complaining about it, I decided to tell you whether she will stop taking the medicine. Stop taking the medicine? Yeah. She's not yet healed. Look, that the medicine is poaching her is a sign that medicine is working perfectly well. Yes, mm. the medicine is doing its job. That's, that, is, that is the work of native medicine, have you forgotten? So it will purge out away the pains in her liver, in her kidney, all over her body and she will be strong again. So, so what you are trying to tell me now is that it's not a kind of negative effect? No, it's not going to have a negative effect on her, trust me. She's my mother too, you know. Well, and that, unless I forget, is she eating normal? Eating? Of course, she's eating very well. Yeah, Mama. Mama now finished two plates of food at once in the, in the house. Wow. Hmm. Well? Even at times, she do go to the kitchen to cook for herself. Well, in that case, I think there is no, no need for... There is no cause for be. alarm. <laughs> so. Mama is okay. The drugs is working perfectly okay. By the time she's done taking those drugs, hmm, she will be strong again. Okolo chen chen. <laughs> well, Subadro, let us start going. <laughs> All right, now let's move.
situation that Ken is right now is what I don't understand. Seriously. I mean, how can his mother leave the village back having to come stay with them in the city? His marriage is very No, no, do you, do you know what the problem is? I am not after that the mom came to the house to stay. You understand? But the thing is, if you're coming, you come and you stay in peace. Give your son a peace of mind. Go now, see Ken. Ken will work for the family to be together. Ken will work for the mother to be fine. Work for the wife to be fine. At the end of the day, you come back to your house and you'll find no peace. It's very wrong. Okay. I know I know that Ken is attached to the mom very well as the only child. Yes. But not at this time, man. This guy is old enough to know things that will speak for him. Let's just, just trust it. Like seriously, if I were to be Ken, my brother, I won't take it to you die. Man. I can't. I won't die before my time, mom. <laughs> if you're in issues, you just leave the house for them and you look for where yeah. to glorificate your life. I shall trust you. Just find somewhere last, cool my head. No, I feel for Ken, man. I feel for him. I feel for that guy. He's my friend and I know what he's going through. Ken no longer concentrates in the office. If you touch Ken, say that, my mother this, my wife that, my wife this, my wife that, or my mother that. You know, the complaint is too much on him. That is why we are his friends, so let's just try and encourage him. He has to find peace. Tired, my friend, my sister. You can't believe the position these people gave me in the office. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it, my dear. When I got to the office, everybody was just welcoming me. Madam, welcome. Madam, welcome. Madam, welcome. Wow. I was like, ah. me that just started work. Everybody just welcoming me as if I am the boss. You know the most interesting part of it? My salary. Is double of what I was earning in, in Enugu. Eh? <laughs> My dear, Lagos is good. <laughs> Lagos is good. <laughs> My dear, hey. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Finally. Finally. <laughs> you can say that again, girlfriend. <laughs> you know what? What? I would like to take you out. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. This call for a celebration. Yes, now. so it is. So who is going to fit the bill? Ah, come on, let's go first. <laughs> Don't ah. mind me, Jan. I'm just you teasing you. <laughs> Everything is fine. All I just want to tell you people is that I have fully recovered. And I would like to go back to the village because our August meeting will be coming up very soon. Mama, are you sure of what you're telling us? Yes. Well, you look strong, but I would like you to exercise a little patience. I will be traveling to Abuja tomorrow and I would like you to stay at least one more week. Hmm? So that when I come back, I'll prepare things for you to live with. Yes, Mama. My husband is right. Hmm? Just stay a few more days so that when he comes back from traveling, we'll prepare you well to go back to the village, okay? Mm. Oh. Mm. I think uh, mm. you need to be Oh, okay. Let me keep my company. I'll join you soon. Mama, Mama, we are going to miss you when you leave. Oh, mm? my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> So, when is she going back to the village? 
Well, she said that she'll be traveling by next tomorrow. But you know, I have this uh, this seminar to attend in Abuja, and it will take up to a week. So I bet that we at least extend our traveling to to one week, so that uh, I will have enough time to prepare something for her to leave me. Ken, please, please for my own sake, I would like you to give Mama something big. You know. Well, I'll give her something to go home. Him and I'll go home to catch. We'll gather everybody now. Him and me, no, no. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's, that's true. Very fair. But, um, Ken, like you rightly said before, you know how they are. Once the bike man drops them in front of your house, the next thing is to start calling. My fellow women, everybody should come. I went to my son's place, come and see what he bought for me. Do you understand? So, give her enough money. If it is something you want me, Mike, to come in, Man, I'm here for you. I'm, I'm in too. My brother, I'm here. People should know that I, I have enough money. Hey! Hey, it is, nice. Yeah, you know, there. Why are we sitting in an empty table like this? What are you people going to bring? Because for me, I don't want to take anything. No, 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 sorry. No. Are you, are, are, no, are you seeing what I'm saying? Huh? Miracle. Ken that you and I know is not taking anything. No, 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 there's more to this. Anyways, it's a good start. Ken that drinks himself to stupor is no longer interested in drinking. Big miracle. You know, I've been more at than all these things. What, what do you want to drink? Let me get it for you. you know Go on, uncle, brand. just speak. You sure know my brand, but me, I will drink now. You know my brand. Tiger. Oh. Ah! Yeah. Go on, uncle. Today, I need something big like this. Mostly. Big star, man. Big thing, big star, big star. See, sonny. The other night I gave you phone to repair for me. You, you, you cured the phone, boy leg, and gave it gay leg. Now you want to take another big star? Nah, Oga. Hey, Sonny cannot take big star for nothing. I am telling you, something is involved. It would answer. Amo. Nkenu kunu. That is You're it. welcome. Wait, Sandra. Are you trying to tell me that Mama has finally decided to go? Hmm, my dear, I was so overjoyed when she said that with her mouth that she wants to go. Hmm. Oh hmm. my God. But wait, though. Sandra, you're very wicked. Though. You're very wicked. Just look at the way you use bitter native medicine to push your mother-in-law. My dear friend, it's not my fault. I have to think of something since she refused us living in peace. But my husband will be traveling next week and he's going to spend one week in Abuja. I don't know how, I don't know if we can tolerate each other. I agree with you. I agree with you. But come to think of it, isn't it no better you use this opportunity to trick Mama to your side? You know, make her your friend, bring her closer to you. You know, get her those things that she likes. Remember, very soon you and your husband will be traveling for New Year Festival. Mm. Hmm? And you're going to stay with her. So it's better to make her your friend now, you know? I think you have a point there. I have to use this one week opportunity to get her better side, you know? So that I won't find it difficult whenever we travel to the village. Hmm. Yes. That's point. Get her those things that she likes. You know you're working now, you can afford those things. Of course, you know. Buy her those things. Make mm -hmm. her happy. Mm -hmm. Bring her to your side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, delicious, okay. <laughs> Don't you. worry. I will buy her heart to myself. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Um, my friend, what should I offer you now? Everything, no. If you know whatever you have in this house, even this your house, bring it out. It's all. Uh huh. Everything. Are you sure? Don't worry. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, let's go to the kitchen. Let's go. <laughs>
have biden into your idea i need to go to the market get some stuff for mama in order to buy a heart over hmm i'm so happy yeah i'm so happy that you hearkened to my advice of course my friend <laughs> and not only that i am going to get some assorted meats to prepare delicious pepper soup for her today Wow. <laughs> Mama is such a lucky woman. Ah, you can say that again, my friend. <laughs> so let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> what are you waiting for? Wait for Mama to be happy again. At least I I want us back together like we used to be. I'm tired of fighting in the house. Ah, we are here for Mama. We are not here for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, today is for Mama. Yes, so sir. let's shop for Mama. Note. How did you manage to become best of friends with Mama? Mm. In my absence. <laughs> See, I thought that by now I'll be separating cat and dog fight. <laughs> Mama is not easy, oh. Hmm. 
but I later understood that communication is the key. If only you knew what I did to win her over. What did you do? As in, I'm surprised. <laughs> well, in order to be on her good side, I had to do. I had to give her what she likes. Did you know that Mama can take two bottles of beer to go? Mama can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who could have thought that a simple gesture like that can turn everything around? <laughs> that is a Mama is a happening person. Mama boy in a meme. With Mama, eh, there is no dulling moment. <laughs> that is to say that when she visits, she'll be very, very happy. Very happy. I promise to get her some flowing gowns for outing. <laughs> so I'll have to check my tailor tomorrow to see what she can make for her. Okay. Well, I'm very happy that everything went well. Yeah, me too, honey. What so time? happy. <laughs> <laughs> see, I would like us to go inside so that you can give me some. You know, it's been long since mm -hmm. we. What? Uh, what has been long? You know now. No, I don't know. Tell me. Started. <laughs> <laughs> you need to give me some money so that I'll go to the market tomorrow to get things for Mama. Hmm? So, how much are we looking at here? Uh, you should know now. Uh, why are you asking me? Well, 50,000 naira, okay. Uh, 50,000 naira, okay. Ha, no, maybe please make it 100 eh, so that I can get Mama things that will be enough for her. Oh, Mama, would you like to go with me? No, my dear. You go, you know, you know better things than I do. <laughs> you know what will happen now? I'll transfer 100,000 naira into your account. Hmm? Okay. Make sure you buy everything that Mama will need. Trust me now, I will buy everything for her. <laughs> um, and Mama, from my own pocket, eh, I will transfer some money into your account. Hmm? Not your son's own, no. So that when the money your son is going to give you finished, or the stock will buy for you finished, you can use the money, go to the bank and withdraw, use the money for you. <laughs> Thank you very much, my children. Yeah, welcome, Thank Mama. you. God bless both of you. Mm -hmm. I pray that by next month, when you both will be coming home, mm. <laughs> uh, something will be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Mama. Uh, marriage is not a bed of roses. But I pray to God that both of you will live happily. Amen. and enjoy your marriage. Amen. Peace will reign in your homes. You will deliver boy, you deliver girl. Amen. In the mighty name of God. Amen. God Amen. bless you, my children. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> okay. Hey, my um, God. Um, um, baby, um, I would like to eat the egg sauce this night. So, take a while. Amen. Look at your mouth like egg sauce. No problem, I'll get it ready for you. <laughs> you, have, you have to prepare it for him. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I, I will need some too. Really? Yes. Mama, for you, anything for you. Oh. No problem. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mama has finally come back to the village. Yes, so my husband took her to the park this morning. Hey! <laughs> I am so happy. <laughs> so finally, you will have peace of mind in your home. Yes, so you know, eh, Mama was something else. But your advice works, you know. Eh? Mm, Mama was something else. But your advice works. All this was caused of lack of understanding and communication. Mama wasn't so bad. Eh? So you guys made up. You didn't even bother telling me. Uh uh. Where would I have seen you? You know, I work Mondays to Saturdays. And we were busy preparing Mama traveling back. Eh? So I couldn't make out time to come. Sorry. No best. <laughs> anyway, that's true. So all these feuds you had with her is over. It's over. I knew it. I said it. It's not all mother in laws that are bad. Yes, so, you know, eh, Mama is such a jolly good fellow. Mm? With Mama, no dolly moment. <laughs> if not because of the advice you gave to me, I would have thought that Mama was out there to destroy my marriage with her son. Eh? <laughs> you know, eh, whenever we think that most mother-in-laws are wicked or monsters, we, we, we thereby putting fear in the mind of those that are yet to get married. All we have to do is to understand them better. If you know that which they like, do it for them with so much love and care. <laughs> My dear friend, you couldn't have said it better. Mm -hmm. We just need to understand that they are aged. 
See? And all they need is love and care. They always think that we are out there to snatch that love and care they get from their son. My dear, this mama's visit really taught me and my husband a lot. Hmm? The house will be so boring without her. Eh? <laughs> hey, you know your way to the village now. You can travel to the village to meet her. Eh, eh, not so fast though. Eh? Let me recover from the first encounter. 